Hey, what's up? I'm gonna show you how I Apple script clicks using an Alfred workflow um, instead of using my other method, which I described and how I automate my job and using the mouse code SE script. These are just some advanced shortcuts if you have the Alfred power pack and you're using my method to create micro automations. I use Atom as the text editor because it's a little more friendly than script editor. Um, just to note, if your script is super duper long, use script editor. But I'll go ahead and show you how I do it myself. Okay, I make sure and have Atom downloaded. The first step is to install some plugins so that way Atom will recognize that it's an Apple script. Search for Atom OSA script and I'll include these links in the description box and I'm gonna go ahead and install these two. The built OSA script will be able to run Apple scripts directly from Atom. It's kind of buggy so I'll show you my workaround but you can go ahead and push install and then open Atom and then you can push here and install it. I'm gonna do the same thing for language Apple script. Once you have that ready, I'll send you my new Apple script Apple script. I'll do new Apple script and call it test and it'll go ahead and create an Apple script in Atom instead of script editor, how I previously showed you. Next, I have my Alfred workflow, and I have these three codes to put the code for clicking on stuff and to find coordinates inside of Atom. So let's start with mouse. So let's say I wanna click on the Apple. I'll go ahead and hover over it and type mouse, and I'll select mouse position, type a variable name, and it'll go ahead and do the same thing that it did inside of script editor, but inside of Atom this time. Next, another one that I have is coordinates. And what it'll do is once you push enter, it doesn't necessarily immediately do everything, but if I go to the clipboard history, it'll put the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and then the X and Y coordinate together as a pair. This comes in handy if you need it. Now, if I wanna do a script super fast and just go through it, I have another one called mouse and click position, where if I just hover over what I wanna click on and push enter, it'll automatically put the script and click on it. So that way I can go to the next step, like uh, recent items, and then do the same thing. And then it'll go ahead and click there. If the menu was still there, it would've pushed the button. Lastly, if I ever need to change a coordinate, so I'll go ahead and run this script, and in order to not run it from Atom, I'll just launch it from Alfred. So I'll do test.script, and it'll click on the Apple. If I wanted to update the XY coordinates and not redo the mouse click workflow, I can just hover over the new coordinate or the new thing that I wanna click on and do copy coordinates and paste. This is kind of a weird name, feel free to change it. I just stick with this for some reason. And then I'll push enter and it'll automatically read the new coordinates and replace the XY coordinates for you. So if you have a long script and you're switching from your monitor to your laptop or from one side screen to another, this is a way that you can quickly rewrite your script without having to redo the whole thing. So if I do save and then I run the Apple script, it'll click on the new coordinate. I'll include everything in the description box that you need. If you have any questions, you can email me at hello at theproductivityshop.co or join the Productivity Shop Slack channel. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. <laughs> this is the third take of the video because I forgot to record <laughs> the first two times, but yay. <laughs> later. Wrap.